Mahayana Buddhism, also known as Northern Buddhism, by Dave Marsland of Cardiff Theosophical Society. Mahayana Buddhism, also known as Northern Buddhism, is a vast and complex religious tradition that has had a profound impact on the spiritual, intellectual and cultural development of many societies across Asia. At its core, Mahayana Buddhism is distinguished by its emphasis on the Bodhisattva path, the aspiration to attain Buddhahood for the benefit of all sentient beings. This puts the welfare and salvation of others before one's own personal liberation, which is regarded as a lesser goal in comparison. H.P. Blavatsky refers to both Northern Buddhism and to Mahayana Buddhism in her writings. It seems that the use of Mahayana has become more common in esoteric writings as Buddhism has become better known in the West. Theosophist Josephine Ransom says in her book Studies in a Secret Doctrine, published in 1934, H.P. Blavatsky wrote The Secret Doctrine under the inspiration of the Masters and gave her teachings in the guise of what is called Northern Buddhism or the Mahayana school. The language of trans-Himalayan esotericism is what she uses as being the most comprehensive with which to clothe the truths she decided to expound. Mahayana Buddhism emerged in India in the 2nd century BC and spread over the next few centuries throughout East Asia, Southeast Asia and Central Asia. The term Mahayana means great vehicle, reflecting the philosophy's emphasis on the importance of compassion and the pursuit of enlightenment, not only for oneself, but for the benefit of all beings. The origins of Mahayana Buddhism can be traced back to the early Buddhist teachings of the Theravada tradition, which emphasised individual enlightenment through the attainment of wisdom. However, as Buddhism spread throughout India and encounters with diverse philosophical traditions occurred, Mahayana emerged as a distinct movement. Mahayana emphasises the Buddha nature that is said to exist in all beings, and the importance of compassion and altruism in the pursuit of enlightenment. This philosophy also places great emphasis on the Bodhisattva path, which involves dedicating oneself to the benefit of all beings and delaying one's own enlightenment until all beings can be liberated. Mahayana Buddhism also introduced a number of new practices and beliefs, including the concept of bardo, or intermediate state between death and rebirth, and the use of devotional practices such as chanting and meditation on bodhisattvas. Mahayana Buddhism spread throughout Asia, giving rise to numerous traditions and schools including Tibetan Buddhism, Zen Buddhism, Pure Land Buddhism and many others. Each of these traditions developed unique practices and teachings within the broader framework of Mahayana philosophy. One of the major features of Mahayana Buddhism is the concept of Bodhisattva, which translates to enlightened being. The Bodhisattva path is characterised by a strong commitment to the cultivation of wisdom and compassion, and a focus on the ideal of the Bodhisattva as a model of spiritual perfection. The ultimate goal of the Bodhisattva path is to attain Buddhahood, a state of enlightenment characterised by the complete cessation of suffering and the attainment of boundless wisdom and compassion. Another important concept in Mahayana Buddhism is the notion of emptiness, shunyata. This idea can be difficult to understand, but essentially it refers to the idea that all phenomena are empty of inherent existence. This means that everything we experience is actually a product of our own minds and that there is no inherent nature to anything in the world. This can be a liberating concept as it suggests we are not bound by the limitations of the world around us. Compassion, karuna, is also a central concept in Mahayana Buddhism. This is closely tied to the idea of the Bodhisattva as bodhisattvas are seen as compassionate beings who wish to help others. Compassion is seen as an antidote to suffering and is something that can be cultivated through practice and meditation. 
By developing compassion, we become more aware of the suffering of others and more motivated to help alleviate that suffering. In Mahayana Buddhism, the practice of meditation is also incredibly important. Meditation is seen as a way to develop clarity of mind, cultivate compassion and ultimately achieve enlightenment. There are many different forms of meditation practiced in Mahayana Buddhism, ranging from mindfulness meditation to visualization practices. Mahayana literature is incredibly diverse, encompassing a wide range of texts, including sutras, a collection of aphorisms, shastras, scriptures, commentaries, biographies, and poetry. These texts were composed over many centuries and in many different languages, including Sanskrit, Chinese, Tibetan, and Japanese. Some of the most influential Mahayana texts include the Lotus Sutra, the Heart Sutra, the Diamond Sutra, and the Prajnaparamita Sutras. The Lotus Sutra is perhaps the most famous Mahayana text, and it is considered one of the most profound and inspiring teachers in all of Buddhist literature. The Sutra teaches that all beings have the potential to attain Buddhahood, and that this realization can be reached through many different paths. The Heart Sutra is another important text that is considered to be the essence of Mahayana Buddhism. This sutra teaches the concept of emptiness, which is the idea that all phenomena lack an inherent existence and are dependent on other factors. Another important Mahayana text is the Diamond Sutra, which is one of the oldest sutras in Mahayana Buddhism. This sutra is known for its teachings on impermanence and non-attachment, which are central to Buddhist philosophy. Finally, the Prajnaparamita Sutras are a collection of texts that teach the concept of prajna or wisdom. These texts emphasize the importance of realizing the emptiness of all phenomena and developing the wisdom necessary to attain enlightenment. Mahayana literature is also notable for its use of metaphor and symbolism. Many of the teachings are presented in the form of parables and allegories, which can be interpreted in many different ways, depending on the reader's level of understanding. For example, the Lotus Sutra includes the famous parable of the burning house, which teaches that the Buddha has many different methods for leading beings to enlightenment. In addition to its emphasis on the Bodhisattva path, Mahayana Buddhism is also notable for its complex metaphysical doctrines and philosophical systems. For instance, in the Yogacara school of Mahayana philosophy, the mind is seen as the foundation of all reality and the ultimate aim of spiritual practice is to realize the true nature of mind and attain liberation from suffering. In contrast, the Madhyamaka school emphasizes the emptiness of all phenomena and the illusory nature of reality and teaches that there is no inherent self or entity that exists independently of its parts. Overall, Mahayana Buddhism is a rich and multifaceted tradition that has played a central role in the intellectual and spiritual history of Asia for over two millennia. Its emphasis on the Bodhisattva path, along with its sophisticated metaphysical and philosophical systems, makes it a unique and compelling religious tradition with a deep and enduring influence on the world.